All right, let's get into the dress code, guys. Yes. So, why can't we wear tights? Y'all wear tights. Okay, but no, no, no. Why couldn't we wear tights? Why couldn't we wear tights? Why can't y'all wear tights? Because it's not school appropriate. I've never seen a lawyer or a doctor show up in a dicky suit or <laughs> in some pajamas. So you gotta dress for the profession that you want, not for the position you are right now. But why do teachers could wear leggings? So what if I want to be a teacher? So I could wear leggings? They don't wear leggings how y'all wear leggings. A lot of, nine times out of ten when y'all have on y'all leggings, it's not the appropriate leggings. Then y'all have your shirt like a crop top. Uh, or y'all have your hoodie so all balled up. You know. We know who he talking about though. You <laughs> <laughs> dress the right people. Side eye. The best slide up. We know who you're talking about, though, but. I'm talking about all y'all. No, no, no. I. Never put the shirt on. Never. I'm sorry. Don't know if they come in here with crop tops every day. Uh, she not? I think she got one over there. Absolutely. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I don't wear crop tops. I wear hoodies in a vest. And I'm light skinned. <laughs> oh, I see what you did. Yeah. Okay. So, what's up? Any other questions? Uh, but can we change the color of our shirt, though, like make it black or something? Nah, cause y'all about to leave anyway. I got what two more months for real, for real. I mean, for real, for real, we're not even following, but I know. Still, you know. <laughs> Alright, but the question is, are you gonna miss us once we leave? I'm gonna miss some of y'all. Some of y'all can't wait to get out of here. Like, like, I, I am gonna miss some of y'all. Honestly, I'm gonna miss a lot of y'all. Y'all personalities will kind of make up the school. Y'all got the maturity level that the school needs, but sometimes y'all be leaving the younger ones astray. Because they do look up to y'all. I know early in the year I was playing around with y'all, calling y'all school leaders, but y'all really are school leaders. Y'all set the tone. So if they see y'all losing y'all minds, what do you think they Yeah, they're gonna do the same thing. Wow. That really motivates us to do better. Have you ever thought about being a motivational speaker? Nah. That might be something in the future, though. I feel like everybody got a story. So. So you live around here, Mr. Jerry? I'm from 21st and 77. So we're yeah. 21st and 77. So more? Yeah. Do you like him? I love him. I, I, he grew up there, right? It's the best city. I mean, best place in the city. But it's not safe, though. It is around my way. <laughs> you live near Diamond Street. <laughs> <laughs> That's not safe. I've been here 32 years. I mean, my you 32 I, years old? Yeah. You do not look like your birthday just been there. Yeah, you know how so. old you look? You look like 25, 27. Oh, yeah, I'm going to take that oh, time. No, that's younger, like 21. Yeah. But I grew up around there, so everybody from 19 to 33rd knew who I am. My family grew up around there. So a lot of, you know, everybody got friends and family members that ain't on, on the right side of the tracks all the time. So I used to be with them. But they used to pick it up. Not even that, you gotta pick and choose your spots, you gotta know who you are. You can, you can chill with whoever you want, but when it comes to decision making time, you gotta use your own brain and think for yourself. You gotta know what you want. What made you want to do A lot of my friends, family members, didn't make it past 18 and 23, so those were the golden years. When I was 16, I got my permit and my junior's license, and I'm like, yo, all right, I can drive. So now I'm moving and shaking throughout the city. I'm like, all right, let me see if I can make it to 18. I get to 18, I'm like, all right, let me see if I can make it through college. Made it through college. Everybody who I was around growing up was like 23, was when my old head got killed by his uncle, got shot in the eye with a dozen eagle. So that's our golden year. It was like, yo, at 23, we made it past 23. Like, all right, man, like, let's see where we can go further. So once I made it past 23, I was like, let me, just keep trying different things. So now that led me down the path of getting my master's, being an administrator in school, working with kids for almost 10 years now. So I think I made the right choice. Do you recommend to us going to college? College ain't for everybody, but everybody do need to have experience if you need to know what you want. And the way the world is now, a lot of y'all don't need college. A lot of kids are blowing up off the internet, podcasts, things of that nature. But if you do choose to go to college, stick it out. Don't go out. Go there and have fun, but be a scholar. Be well rounded. Nobody telling y'all just go up there, bury yourself in the book, and just keep yourself in the dorm. Like you need to experience, you gotta network, and you gotta realize you gotta have experiences to shape you to mold you who you are. Alright, let's get into 
That's it. Okay, well, you know, we enjoy having Mr. Evans in the school, even though some people, like, you know? You. I yeah. Know you're nervous. Yeah. Yeah, sometimes. But it's okay. We still appreciate you for everything you do, Mr. Evans. Hey, listen, I rock with y'all until y'all start doing that stuff. Yeah. Okay. <laughs>